The government briefings on policy for 2018 comes to an end in today's session. The Culture and Education Ministries, as well as the Korea Communications Commission, laid out their action plans for the rest of the year. Each one has the details. Prime Minister Lee nak several other top officials and ordinary citizens were briefed on this year's action plans by the Ministries of Culture and Education and the Korea Communications Commission on Monday. The policies of the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism are focused mainly on providing fair and equal opportunity for artists, boosting innovative businesses in the cultural sphere and bringing culture closer to the people. To support innovative growth in culture, sports and tourism, the ministry plans to boost startups and creative projects in those three areas by creating funds worth around 140 million U.S. dollars for each of them. Specifically for the tourism industry, the ministry will invest in attracting tourists from new and growing markets, including Southeast Asian countries and India. The sports industry will also see some innovative changes, for example, by the use of the latest sensor and graphic technologies in sports training to help athletes improve their performance. The ministry also designated 2018 as a year of the book and will support projects to promote reading, such as transforming more ordinary bookstores into cultural spaces where people can enjoy beverages and attend lectures by authors. The Ministry of Education also seeks to implement innovative systems that nurture talent for the fourth industrial revolution. To move away from education focused on exams and competition, the ministry will introduce a free learning year during which first-year middle school students will not have to take exams but rather attend classes more focused on participation and discussion. The KCC focused its policies on providing broadcasting content for the people and protecting their personal information. The Commission will strengthen its monitoring and reporting systems to provide accurate news and to block inappropriate content. It also wants to make sure people's personal information is kept safe when it's sent to businesses overseas. For that, the KCC will encourage firms to follow a set of international guidelines and principles issued by APEC. The Ministry of Education and the KCC have said they will also improve on their communication with the people by gathering public opinion and reflecting it in their policies. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.